Shout out to Lone bringing down the band. Uh, could you hold that up for me again? <laughs> Man, I gotta, this is uh, where yeah, we, this one, yeah, right? hold that up. So Lone has a very interesting short from the Olympics <laughs> uh, break dancing because, as we know, this you is the first. I, oh, I definitely saw it. I shared it in there. Um, this is hip hop. This is hip hop. So the Olympics <laughs> obviously were featured for the first time in the Olympics 2024 Paris. Uh, the, there was some good. You said the the break the break and dancing. That's you yeah. Said, break you said the Olympics were featured in the Olympics. I think. Like, Did I say that? Yeah. Olympics oh, are featured in the night, man. This, this plaque got me all, all out of all yeah. body. Don't yeah. that spice room. Man. Don't yeah. do that. Don't do that. Uh, yeah, but it's, nah, man, it's we doing that. <laughs> but the Olympics featured break dancing. Jay Moore, 2024, Paris. Good moments. Uh, some interesting moments. Some good moments, absolutely. Yeah, no, some good I mean, moments. It's not what's being shared, but yeah, there were some good moments. But I'd love for us to take a look at loans. Uh, you passed it. Short. Did I? From yeah, bringing so down the band, I've seen it. This is so All right. good. All right, let's let me just please share this. Yes, this is this is amazing. <laughs> she had no business. <laughs> I'm talking about. I'm talking about no business. That's when you, you hear me. That's when you don't have a qualifying round. I'd be like, hey, do you want to go to the Olympics? Or that's like, literally how she got in there, though. Yeah. She kind of talked her way into being the representative for Australia. Um, she wasn't an original break dancer. Clearly. Yeah, she she studied some moves here and there. and uh, Did she? Decided that she was going to represent the country of Australia. Look, let me tell you something. So, let, t- Jay Moore, just talk to me, man. Tell me about your thoughts overall. Try your best to be as positive as possible, if you, if you need to, if you can. Okay. We got 100,000 people watching. So... <laughs> <laughs> tell me, tell me how you feel, bro. Like, <laughs> what did you take from break dancing in the Olympics? Okay, first of all, because I did not watch it live. Okay, the, when I'm out and about, I see the uh, the clip that's yeah. going around. I was like, oh, this whole break dancing in Olympics thing is this is just trolling. Ah, right. Like I thought, oh, they just like they found a way to make fun of hip hop on a global stage. Now I've seen some other clips of, of other people doing it, uh, and so I was like, oh, okay, some of these people understood the assignment. But when I saw uh, this woman just out there, kind of uh, with the herky jerky movements, yeah, because this is hip hop. Yeah, this is hip hop. Like I thought, you know, like somebody posted something. Uh, it was a picture of Shabadoo um, in turbo person, looking from can you can, you know from yeah. as like look. Uh, I did not do all that break dance and the save miracles, so y- y'all could be doing this. And the thing is, like yeah, if bunny that, hopping out. If here. that's what they, if if, if that was, they would have never saved a community center with those kind of moves. Mm-mm. Some kids would just had to go and sell crack or something because it was <laughs> they were going to have to build that shopping center. <laughs> Facts. Because Facts. This was like I said. I I thought this was trolling. I was like, oh okay, and I and especially when I see that. They're not going to have breaking in the Olympics in 2028 when it comes to Los Angeles. Yeah. Right. What a time to not you know, continue it. And, and, what a, and what a location. Yeah. So, but I mean, it, I'm glad it, 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 there was the elements of the culture there. I was like, I was disappointed there were no, are you not going to have one judge maybe even from the Bronx? Come on, man. You didn't have crazy any, legs not involved. How did you Facts. not have any DJ? I, you know, like I said, I could break this down on a whole lot of levels and where it was culturally insensitive, but- that was funny to see that woman from Australia get out there and um, embarrass I, herself. Yeah, why not? Yeah. I mean, it was funny. Yeah, but uh, but I think from a, from another point, like it does kind of it's kind of a shame at the same time that everybody that we and everybody like this became such a, a meme moment that it kind of overshadowed some of the better performances that were going on there because mm-hmm. they're not sharing any of the good ones true yeah and, and there were a lot of really great performances there um i saw a couple that were extremely dope yeah so that, that that's my only take but i will say it is that that particular part was really funny I, what you think, Terry? What, like, how did you? <laughs> how, how did you feel just at, about the event as, as, a, as a whole? Honestly, I was I was underwhelmed. Mm. I didn't I didn't even watch the the men's day mm. because the women's day kind of <laughs> left a sour taste. That's the parts that mouth. I saw. I saw the men's. Yeah, so, so. I, I didn't. I seen like maybe one dancer, one or two dancers from the men's side, and it was like they were just getting anybody to represent <laughs> break dancing. This. It's kind of, I mean, it, this is the thing about hip hop being so, so big now. I mean, it's literally the biggest genre still, regardless of how you cut it, how you like it, regardless. It's the biggest genre out there. And for it to come to this moment was a pinnacle. Like building up to it, I was excited to see this. Yeah. 
And when I seen it, to me, it just didn't represent hip hop the way that I envisioned it representing hip hop. Right. Like I said, I didn't see the men's day. Mm-hmm. Um, also, no, no, nobody from the United States advanced to like the finals. I don't think either. I only saw clips, so I didn't. I, I didn't actually watch anything. Yeah. So it, I don't know, man. I, I don't really don't know how to take it. I don't know, uh, and especially them not involving anybody that's part of hip hop. Like, what kind of judges? Like, what were they judging off of? Were they judging off the the acrobatic? Um, uh, moves or I'm, I'm I'm personally not sure. The the only caveat to that that I will say is that this wasn't ever going to be a permanent thing for the nah, Olympics. Nah. It was just a one off thing that France decided to try out in for France. So it, or I don't know who's in part of that committee. I'm guessing it was France or something. But because um, that's where it was this year, right? Because I haven't watched right. any Olympics. Yeah. So yeah. Um, it has to be. Well, I did learn that it has to be um, in three Olympics for it to be considered a, a primary sport. I see. Or for it to continue on. So they were saying that th- it's not going to be in 2028, but it may be in the following Olympics, depending on how they vote. Mm. So next year, uh, softball, was it cricket? I don't know. Some, there's like three, three sports that are replacing the, Oh, I see the, uh, B boy, B girl, whatever mm-hmm. breaking section of the Olympics next year well, yeah. in 2028 for LA. But I don't know. I mean, it was a good night, but at the same time, it just wasn't, what I felt was hip hop. Like Jay Moore said, when I, when I think of uh breaking, I think of turbo and ozone. I think of beat street. I think of, you know, the originators. Mm-hmm. And if they didn't have a part in how this was done, I don't think it was genuine. And I don't know if they, I don't know the origins of how this turned into an Olympic thing. It, so. it just, it came off as to me, it came off as off brand. It was very off brand because I'm looking at the stage. This actual the stage was dope, and I'm like, stage was dope. The, the crowd set dope. up. The idea is dope, but I'm looking at the judges panel. And I'm like, what do these sheets actually have on them? But I who think are these about, people that are actually judging this? It, it just was off brand to me, bro. Like yeah, it was I, a I squandered opportunity dancers. to me. Yeah, I think of actual dancers like yeah, uh, even the Less Twins. You yeah, know what I'm saying Less Twins. Um, who else? Uh, there a lot of dope. Uh, the freaking Jabberwockies. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? There's there's lots of hip hop breaking groups that were so, far superior than the ones I've seen in this contest. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, I don't know if they threw their hats in the in the ring for it or whatnot, but you know how many I don't pe- know. you know how many people that you see that are extremely talented at breaking and locking. You could just scroll through in, uh scroll through Instagram and see people that are phenomenal at this. Mm-hmm. The Les Twins are from France. Are they? I yeah. don't I, I'm not too hip on there's, break there, dancers. there's a group of guys I think they call it a ghetto funk collective or something like they they have videos that are amazing locking over different types of beats and you know it's just like where are these people like if we're gonna I do know, it man. again I, I don't maybe you didn't see the men's but the the men's versions that I saw of what they were doing was pretty good there's really. probably some videos so, that I didn't see so to your I point mean, maybe it was some heat out there again, I, I only saw see. clips I haven't watched anything of any of the Olympics except, yeah. except for through a couple clips yeah I mean I saw you know, Snoop so. walk in and you know like he, he kind of opened the door for the whole not opened the door but you know he introduced the whole thing and it was they said, it was, St- they said Snoop was getting a lot of bread to walk around in uh, Paris he good looked like him. he had the time of his life he hey did. man good for him yeah I mean part, the part like I said the parts that I watched because um I would have it on mm. my place of work yeah <laughs> and, and yeah. you know and then um you know, I have a access to a Peacock account, so I was able to watch some some of the events. It was good. <laughs> I also feel like people are are trying to shame people for shaming her for her lackluster performance. And I, I'm I'm yeah. to the point now where if if you're not good at something, then this this is the backlash of it, and you shouldn't be trying to protect somebody that had no business being there in the first place. Yeah, I mean, we got to start owning. Our mistakes in life, man. You can't just call every time somebody messes up and people gang up on them. Oh, you're shaming them. No, they shouldn't have did it. I heard well, they a, did get a zero. They give her. Like she got a, a zero. zero. Out of zero. Yeah. yeah. Oh, she did. I mean, yeah. she was bunny hopping, bro. I mean, <laughs> I, I, I heard, and I don't know if this is. I don't know if this is a rumor or what. You know, somebody just trying to that she knew that she didn't couldn't do the physical stuff as much Should've as some of, some of the other Should've ones so she chose herself to do the interpretive dance thing and i don't know if somebody was tro- trolling interpretive <laughs> interpretive dance i mean it's kind of what it looked like yeah i mean you know this uh, she was doing the bunny hop thing man. at the you know she's doing that thing man, it's so that? embarrassing man but i mean we got to realize too the culture is at a point where it's worldwide and everybody's accepted it so it it, it will be watered down and unacceptable to a lot of us 
but at the same time, this is a part of some people's upbringing and how how they live their life. I mean, it's I heard it's, she, it's I heard she went than, to school for it. I heard like nah, hey. she didn't go to school for that. <laughs> nah, she didn't go to school. <laughs> Dead serious. Please, <laughs> please, Q. Nah, she didn't go to school for that. The hip hop lady dance instructor that's in the blue outfit. <laughs> uh, uh, your hands are always. Uh. She probably went to school for it too. Yeah, Long, well, she didn't go to she school. She had no business either. Gobo can bunny hop right now. She ain't go to school for that. Yeah, I mean, I can too. Her name was Ray Gun. This is what it is to be famous instead of great. Yeah. Because this woman is famous now. You know, this she falls might, on, She probably will she, garner some appearances. She probably, of this. somebody's going to give her an endorsement deal where she's going to do the bunny hop yeah. and sell some soft drinks. Because this know. falls under your umbrella, bring back booing, kind of, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. yeah we, you know, I'm, I'm a fan yeah. of uh, booing. Yeah. She yeah. need to be booed, right? This is but this mm-hmm. is booing. Yeah, she should I mean, have been a zero out of zero. I'm a fan, zero. I'm a fan of the thing. shame yeah, campaign. We need to bring back shaming. <laughs> Everybody needs to be shame. Uh, there should be no more uh, shaming for shaming people. Yo, shame campaign. He said, "Bring back shaming." That sounds shame. worse than booing. <laughs> I mean, it's the same thing essentially. Yo. But I mean, people should be ashamed. That's what booing is. You should be yeah. ashamed of yourself for getting on stage and presenting mm-hmm. exactly. this entertainment. You got me there. That is. You should be ashamed. I, I mean, so. it was definitely entertainment. A lot of things are entertaining. Yeah. Exactly. Doesn't make uh, it would right. You say, would you say, Lona, <laughs> they got the views? They how definitely views, got the views. How many views does it have? <laughs> <laughs> Can we watch that one more time? <laughs> and another. <laughs> <laughs> Look at her, yo. She like she got shot on that one part. Go back, go back to that part. Yeah, that in front of the world, man. <laughs> she like she got shot. Like it's right here though, right here. Right there, she got shot. <laughs> what is that? I don't know, man. Mm-hmm. I hope we don't get copyrights taken down. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's... for the Family Guy. <laughs> That cocaine is good over there in France, too. I man, guess. listen. Man, that's what Michael Jordan's son said. Hey, no. I hey. mean, I'm, I, I was going to leave that alone. No, I, I didn't. I was static. <laughs> hey, man, you Michael Jordan's son over there for the Olympics. So that's she's not grown folks. Are you just justifi- supposed to be doing Are you justifying I'm not justifying this hoodlum activity, Jim Moore? If it was me, it'd be like, oh, he needs to get his life together. But when you Michael Jordan's son. Oh, that justifies He doesn't it. have to get his life together. Yeah. It's he not, don't have to. It's not like this is going to keep him from getting some job in corporate America. I can't get caught yeah. out there uh, uh, sniffing a little something. That might mess up my political connects. Yeah, it we, actually might have got him a job. Job. Do you know how many people in corporate America <laughs> toot that booger sugar? Yeah. Man? So <laughs> Jay Moore, if, you do, <laughs> if you do that, they're gonna take our plaque back. So no, they're not gonna do that. No, they're not. What <laughs> they're, they're not, not going do to do that. is take back our plaque for one hundred thousand yeah. subscribers. So please don't. True. Yeah, don't 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 put that uh, out in the, in the universe. Yeah, look at look at the way it shines from different angles. It's very nice. We got a letter that came with that too. Mm-hmm. When y'all get one, it'll come with one. All right. <laughs> <laughs>